Greetings, my friend. Oh, no need for formal introductions. I know who you are, and the mere fact that you have been able and willing to seek me out shows that you are no mere street thug, but rather an acolyte of the finer arts. So I know what tools of the trade you are looking for, what business you may have, or whomever you may have it with, is none of my concern. My concern is supplying you with the tools you need to complete your assignment. Now, I have just what you are looking for. The perfect tool for the task. <laughs> yes, I was hoping you would be someone with a sense of humor. I do not like to deal with clients that are completely humorless. It is a rather tedious task. Now then, if you were looking for a rather tough blade for a demanding job, say your target is wearing some sort of textile armor, and uh, this would be a good option. A very wide blade, capable of delivering strong slashes, but also heavy enough to puncture through most materials that you know, targets in uh, everyday life might be wearing, shall we put it that way. But Yes, yes, I figure this would be somewhat too brutish for your style, knowing what I know about you. However, this might be more your style. A spike with wooden handle, finger grooves to lock your hand onto a firm grip, firm and sure. This will puncture through a variety of textile armor and even is capable of dealing with plate armor if you know where to trust, of course. Yes, yeah, one of the most popular choices that I have to offer. But if you are Looking for a somewhat more violent approach? Maybe you are thinking of sending a message? A very bloody message? Well, in this case, I have something for you. This. Look at the blade. If you trust this, into a target's body and twist violently, you will accomplish quite a large wound that shall bleed out quickly and make the target collapse in a writhing heap of meat on the floor. <laughs> I'm sorry, sometimes I get a little carried away with this type of job. But, yes, if this is your style, then I would recommend this sort of very aggressive blade with sharp angles and corners that dig deep into the flesh. Yes, this would not be pretty, I can assure you. Now, if you prefer somewhat prettier work, then we have some things for you too. Like this dagger here, a rondel dagger, so named after the disc on either side of the grip. Now this is triangular, a great tool to punch through, once again, armor or thick clothing that the target might be wearing and it reaches very far. No matter where you hit, this will reach the heart. You can stab over 
the collarbone and it will still reach the intended target. Now, not the easiest to conceal is possible, but I would recommend other options if this is what you're looking for. However, under a coat, it is not a problem. Very, very powerful. No. However, if power is not what you need, but concealability is what you need, well, I may have a thing or two for you, like this knife right here. Fits quite handily in a variety of garments, can be concealed easily. It's all black, so if you move around in the cover of night, this will not give away your position. Non-reflective. Also a very light blade and frame. Quite easy to conceal just about anywhere on your body. Could also be a sensible last ditch option if you happen to be caught, which of course a person of your competence would not allow themselves to be captured. But you never know, it pays to have extra insurances. Am I right? Indeed. So this would certainly be a good option. Now, if you are looking for a different kind of tool that is also very easily concealable, this is all you need if you have the skill. All it takes is one quick slash across to make them bleed out very, very rapidly. And uh, you do not need a very long blade to accomplish your task if you know how and where to apply it efficiently. This is perfect for the task. Slashing. Not the greatest for thrusting, but again, you do not need that if you know how to handle it properly. Again, black, no reflections aside from the edge, which you can quite easily coat with various substances to make the slash even more effective. It is an option. Now, if these items do not quite suit your fancy, how about this specialty here? It is coated in the blood of an elderly wyvern, which makes the blade highly poisonous. Anything the edge cuts will die and wither away within seconds Yes, you are very observant, my friend. I was indeed playing around with you. This is a wooden dagger. This is all it is. And it might not be very fancy, but it can be very handy for situations in which metal is not an option. So you would thrust this into the target, snap it off, and uh, walk away. Now, you can, of course, coat this with a variety of poisons, and uh, the target would not be able to remove the blade stuck inside them, even in case of slower poisons, in time to be saved. So, you might be able to use this. And then, finally, if style is among your considerations, I know that some clients in this trade like to have a certain signature style, and this 
could be yours. It is a slashing blade can be used to rip open the opponent's arteries with a skilled quick slash and commit them to a rather miserable um, expiration riding on the ground. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> well, this is most useful in a very aggressive forward slash. You can also trust with this, but it is not what it is primarily designed for. If you happen to have sentries to take out that your contract requires to dispose of um, bloodlessly, then you may be able to strike skillfully to the temple and other parts of their anatomy to take them out. So, I have shown you the options and I will let you consider you let me know whatever your choice might be. Thank you for your business. The mere fact that you have been able and willing to seek me out sh out? <laughs> I snuck some Canadian in there. Damn it! The Canadian assassin! Yes, you will not escape my maple-covered blade. Thank you.